Matches between Parramatta and Canterbury are almost always extraordinary. But this one was especially so for likeable Bulldogs captain Andrew Ryan, who was making his 200th NRL appearance against the club where his career began. He was hoping that this milestone would be more enjoyable than last Sunday's loss to St George Illawarra in what was his 150th outing as skipper. But once again, a flashy fullback did everything he could to spoil the party. And Hayne brushes. Hayne goes all the way. Jared Hayne has scored. That's his fourth try in the last three meetings against Canterbury. And some of the tries have been absolute boomers. The sight of blue and white jerseys seems to take Jared Hayne to a whole new level. He scored three tries against the Dogs in two meetings last season and had alarm bells ringing every time he touched the ball on this occasion. Having missed out a couple of times as a provider, Hayne opted to do it all himself. Here's Hayne, in from the back, step, step, there's the gap, there goes Hayne, there goes Hayne, in to score again. It's a pretty simple formula. Uh, I think they got the ball too late to him in the set of six, but when they did, they got it to him early and gave him time just to play off his instincts. However, the Eels superstar soon went from hero to villain. In the most dramatic on-field moment of the season so far, Hayne took exception to a tackle from Corey Payne. Oh, hang on a moment. Uh, hang on a moment. No, 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 no. There's no. been a head in there, and that has uh, caused the eruption. Rather than be instantly dismissed, he was put on report and banished to the bin with the Bulldogs interchange forward receiving exactly the same punishment. Who gets sent to the bin for a swinging arm? Who gets sent to the bin for a headbutt? If that wasn't enough, there was more drama to follow. Just three minutes later, it was on again, as Nathan Hindmarsh and Michael Ennis got tangled up in an off-the-ball incident. The Parramatta leader got given 10 for his troubles, and so too did the abrasive Bulldogs rake leaving it looking more like the Manchester derby than a Western Sydney one. Why's he gone? So what's he gone for? For talking. With it now at 11 aside, the game undertook a massive momentum shift. Edwards, Edwards away. Turner, good finisher. Gets it down. Steve Turner scores. Three minutes later, Canterbury again showed their fondness for the extra space. Idris steps in field, lands it back to Halatau. It's gone to Barber. There's trouble here for Parramatta. Barber scores. But the best was yet to come from the brilliant Barber as he finished off this scintillating attacking movement. Lafay, they got Hayne at sixes and sevens. Lafay gets the ball away. Keating does a 360. It's come back out to Hodkinson. Down to Millington. On to Halatau. Down to Idris. At the 10 metres, Barber again. Oh, Barber's no. gone over. The Canterbury custodian's astonishing effort survived video scrutiny with a blade of grass in it. Benefit of the doubt was given to the Bulldogs and that saw them enter the shed somewhat amazingly with a share of the lead. After recording three tries in the last nine minutes of the first half, it took just 150 seconds of the second term for Canterbury to cross again and hit the front. Jamal goes in to score for Canterbury. An illegal ball strip by Jacob Loco on the ever-present Ennis allowed Bryson Goodwin to put the berries ahead by more than a converted try before the highlight of an eventful night for the men wearing number one. Barber's in for three. Ben Barber gets a treble. The dogs had gone from being down by 14 to being up by that many. But their hot streak wasn't over. Jamal Idris puts it over the line. And then he salutes to the people at the northern end of the ground. And there's his little partner in crime, Ben Barber. Jamal Idris may have pledged his allegiance elsewhere beyond this season, but this performance proved he's still fully committed to the Canterbury cause. One that is certainly looking fairly healthy after this quite bizarre battle that saw them reel off 34 unanswered points to ensure they'd avoid three straight defeats. David Rollins, Big Pond Sport.